Holy Spirit. It's a disaster. Um, when we minister to you with the Holy Spirit, we are directed to certain people. 20% of people who are coming to church are Christians. 20% out of 200% are Christians. So it's very dangerous to think that everybody in the church is a Christian. You need to know that I'm sharing you this so that because of what I'm going to share with you here, which is the introduction. Amen. 20% of the people who are in the church are Christian, out of 200%. We're supposed to be saying 10% out of 100% are Christians. Why I'm telling you this? A church is not only a spiritual home, it's also a battlefield. Though in the Bible it's written that uh, God wants to show his wisdom by the church, Satan knows that. So he sent his. When the revival started in the book of Acts, the church of God was led by the Holy Spirit to extend that people were afraid to join that church. I'm sure you have read about that. Now, there's a lot of manipulations that has happened from 2,000 years ago to now that people are no longer afraid to join the church. That time, people were afraid. They saw signs and wonders this time, Satan has mastered sign and wonders. Satan knows Christians can do this. He can do his. So in the church, we've got 10% out of 100. 55% out of 50. Can you just look at the ratio? Can you see what will happen now in the church? The reasons why? They are fighting, and we call them Christians are fighting Christians. No, Christians are not fighting Christians. The problem is, there's a lot of problem that has entered the church. Wrong people has entered. Others are leaders in the church. Think about now when a Satanist is a leader, and you are a member, and you are saying amen. And the Satanist is preaching. Think about something like that. Have you ever think about a Satanist is praying for people and is also praying for you? What will happen to you? So when you come to church, you must come alone or for yourself. When you come to tell anybody, when you come to church, come alone or for yourself. You people, you don't even know each other. It's only when you are here in the church you start to make friendship against the pastor. And you don't know that this person might be sanded by Satan or called by God. In the church today, we have 50% of the people who don't know why they are going to church. And 40% of the people that Satan has sent it to church. So can you see? Many of you, your spirit is already tired but there's something that is pushing you to go on and on. Why? Because you are meeting battles away in the church. The battles are not outside there. 
if the battles were outside there, you are going to be a prayerful Christian. If the battles are, the person who's supposed to challenge you is what? Is a Christian. Right now, we are hearing about Prophet T.B. Joshua. This person is a senior prophet. But who's speaking against? People who are in the church. The Athens are quiet. Some people said here, I use elephants. Did you ever meet an elephant? Do you think elephant is not wild? Elephant doesn't even know anybody. Doesn't even think, except grass. When the elephant is in control, everything must be subjected to run away. Say, this man used elephant. Christians. Others say, ah, he's using a snake. You try to find it's Christians. You question, so if God can do this and we attest everything to Satan, what will happen to Christians? What is happening to church? If truly we say when God is using a man of God, we say is Satan. Now, if a man of God starts to prophesy, no, he has been told. Someone sent a message. If a man of God come here, like some of you don't even know me, isn't it? If I come to you, do you know me? Let me give an example. Do you know me? Did you ever meet me? Huh? So, so if I come to you and say, okay, your name is this one, what are you going to say? Let me hear. I'll say it's God. <laughs> but now, we always attest everything to what? To Satan. I'm sure you hear what I'm saying. The church is divided. It's not divided. The issue is you cannot discern. That's the problem. The problem is what? You cannot discern. A Satanist lay hands on you. You marry Satan. Are you hearing my sister? Amen. Yes. You marry Satan. <laughs> and now Satan ran away. Yeah. Yeah. Satan left you. Amen. Yeah. With children. <laughs> with his children. Yeah. It's not true. It's true, but So if I come to you and say, you this was not supposed to be your husband, what are you going to say? But because you cannot discern. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. If I come to you and say, you, this one was not supposed to be your wife. You look at me with a cow eye. <laughs> like I'm telling my sister. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know, man of God. But you didn't tell anybody here? No, 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 no. If you, if I'm here, and I come to say, you are not a man of God. You, when you are preaching here, already you have got favors. This one is against you. This one will rejoice. You hear what I'm trying to say? The moment when I say this one, you are not a man of God. You, what will happen to you? People are fighting each other in the church. 
No one is interceding for anyone. Why? Because 10% are Christians. 10% are Christians. 40% they have been sent. 50%. They don't know what is happening. They're just there. When it's time to worship, they lift up heads and they cry. When they are busy crying, it's worship. Don't ever think you have Christians. I told pastors, if you are a pastor, you're here. When you start a church, if members are 100, it is possible that all your members, after five years, won't be with you. There is no need of gathering people to yourself. It is possible that you start a church after three years. You find that people are coming, people are going. I don't know if you're hearing me. I told people, please, let's preach the truth. Because those 40, that 50, out of that 50, who are coming there not knowing, you are going to deliver them for God. That 40, that certain sent to you, you need to defeat them by speaking the truth. And now, that's where church will result. Amen. Amen. I pray that you people, you become people who are Christians, who are seeking God. This year is a year of what? Let's seek Him. God bless you.